Private copying exception. This is particularly interesting. You know why? I was chatting with an old school friend, Paul, who is now a law student. When he remembered a song we always listened to at school. By chance, I had the song on my MP3 player, but when I offered to send it to Paul, he replied, that's illegal. He explained to me that even copying the song from the CD onto the MP3 player was illegal. At first, I was pretty scared, but later I found out that I wasn't the only one doing it. A consumer-focused survey of 2010 found only 15% of consumers knew that even after paying for a CD, it was still illegal to copy it onto their MP3 player. Well, when I bought this MP3 player, legal digital downloads were not available. So how was I supposed to use it? Anyway, I'll call a friend who knows the subject really well. Oh, hello. Hi Martin, it's Alan. How are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Oh, not bad, thanks. Look, I'm trying to understand what this private copying exception is, but it's not easy. I was told that copying a file onto another format is currently illegal under UK copyright law. Is it true? Yes, that is true at the moment. Only time shifting of broadcasts is permitted. That means you can record a television or radio broadcast for viewing or listening at a more convenient time. Section 70 of the Copyright Designs and Patents Act 1988, if you want to be precise. UK has not implemented a proper pirate copy exception yet, so most of the content of your laptop, smartphone or MP3 player remains, frankly, illegal. What do you mean, yet? The UK government, following the Hargreaves review and the recommendation of my own report on private copying and fair compensation, has declared its intention to create a new exception that would allow people to copy creative content for private, non-commercial uses, such as format shifting, backup and use on different devices. Nice! So, finally, I will be able to copy songs onto my MP3 player without breaking the law. And could I then share the files I copy with my friends? This is a point of contention. In many countries, an exception for private copying allows people to share copies with family or friends, even downloading for personal use. But the British government believes, correctly I would say, this may cause harm to right holders that would require some payment. The technical term here is fair compensation. Yeah, I read something about fair compensation. What does it mean exactly? Well, EU law says that if this exception causes economic harm to copyright owners, they should receive a payment. This is organized in many countries by a system of copyright levies, a sort of tax or charge on certain devices that enable copying. For example, blank CDs and DVDs, MP3 players, scanners, even computers. Money collected is then divided among right holders. But if a private copy exception only causes minimal damage, no payment is due. For the UK, it would be convenient to limit any private copying exception to narrow uses, thus avoiding the creation of a complex system of compensation that has not worked well in most of Europe. However, there's a danger that much of the content on your smartphone may remain illegal. Whether the consumer will understand that remains to be seen. Wow! Thank you very much, Martin. That's been very helpful. It's been a pleasure, Alan. Thanks again. See you later.